I was in the library the other night, in the restricted section, and I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's called, as I understand it, a Horcrux. I beg your pardon? Horcrux. I came across the term while reading, and I didn't fully understand it. I'm not sure what you were reading, Tom, but, but this is very dark stuff, very dark indeed. Which is why I came to you. A Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. But I don't understand how that works, sir. One splits one's soul and hides part of it in an object. By doing so, you are protected should you be attacked and your body destroyed. Protected? That part of your soul that is hidden lives on. In other words, you cannot die. And how does one split his soul, sir? I think you already know the answer to that, Tom. Murder. Yes. Killing rips the soul apart. It is a violation against nature. Can you only split the soul once? For instance, it's not seven. Seven? Merlin's beard, Tom. Isn't it bad enough to consider killing one person? To rip the soul into seven pieces? This is all hypothetical, isn't it, Tom? All academic. Sir. It'll be our little secret. Sir. beyond anything I imagined. Do you mean to say he succeeded, sir? In making a Horcrux? Oh, yes, he succeeded, all right. And not just once. What are they, exactly? Could be anything. Most commonplace of objects. A ring, for example. Or a book. Tom Riddle's diary. It's a Horcrux, yes. Four years ago, when you saved Ginny Weasley's life in the Chamber of Secrets, you brought me this. I knew then this was a different kind of magic. Very dark, very powerful. But until tonight, I had no idea just how powerful. And the ring? Belonged to Voldemort's mother. Difficult to find. Even more difficult to destroy. But if you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux... One destroys Voldemort. How would you find them? They could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? True. But magic, especially dark magic... traces. It's where you've been going, isn't it, sir? When you leave the school? Yes. And I think perhaps I may have found another. But this time, I cannot hope to destroy it alone. Once again, I must ask too much of you, Harry. <laughs> 